हाई गाइज सलोनी दिस साइड एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो गाइज दिस इज द सेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ अवर स्क्वेल ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट माई स्क्वेल वर्क बेंच एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्क्वेल कमांड्स एंड गाइज इन द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल ऑल्सो शेयर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ द स्क्वेल कमांड्स सो वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट यू गेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स So in this video we will discuss all these topics. Now we will see what is SQL commands. So in our previous video I have told you that SQL is a database language that we use to communicate with the database. So for the communication purpose in SQL we use some commands which are the instructions and SQL commands can perform different type of task function and query with the data. So with the help of SQL commands we can create table add data to tables we can also update that data of table and we can also drop the table or modify the table and not only this we can also set the permission for the users and also we can perform many more task so guys these commands are divided into five categories and in some databases select command is considered as the dml command but here we have categorized select as the dql command So now the first category is DDL or data definition language. So DDL command deals with the database schema or database structure. So if you want to create, modify or delete any database or table structure, then you need to use DDL commands. And the DDL commands only deals with the structure of the database or the table. That means you can't insert, modify or delete the data using DDL commands. and also when a user interacts with any application then this ddl commands are not used by general users because users action in the application will only deal with the data not with the database schema or with the table structure and guys this ddl commands are auto committed that means once you executed the command then you can't undo it or roll back it so now let's see some ddl commands so the first command is create So as the name suggests it is used to create database and its objects like table index function and so on and the next command is alter so we use alter command to alter the structure of the database so with the help of alter command either you can modify the existing structure or you can also add new attribute to the structure so for example you have created a column in a table named id and now you want to change its name to employee id or you want to add new column in the existing table so you can do this task with the help of alter command so now our next ddl command is drop so it is used to delete the object permanently from the database like you can delete the table constraint or any particular column with the help of drop command and guys the drop command not only delete the data moreover it will also delete the complete structure of that object so now our next command is truncate command so it is used to remove all the record or the data from a table in one go and guys it will only delete the data of the table not the structure so guys basically truncate command first drop the table and then recreate it so that's why truncate command works faster so our last ddl command is rename so we use this command when we need to rename the existing objects of the database so we can rename the table column and also the database itself so guys all these are the ddl commands which deals with the database structure not the data so now our next category is dml or data manipulation language which is very important and commonly used so guys with the previous commands which was the ddl command you will be able to create database and the table but now if you want to insert data in those tables or if you want to modify or delete the existing data of that table then for this task you have to use dml commands so dml command are responsible for all type of data modification in a database and remember one thing we use dml command only on the data of the table not on the database structure or the table structure and unlike the ddl commands dml commands are not auto committed that means once you execute the command and then you can also roll back the modifications so now the first command of dml is insert so it is simply used to store new record or data into the table 
and the second command is update so to change or modify the existing data of the table we use update command for example if you have stored the data of a user using the insert command but now you want to update or change some details of that user like his name or age so in that case you will be using update command now our next dml command is delete and it is used to delete one or more existing records from the table and the last dml command is call and it is used to call a stored procedure that was defined previously and don't worry if you didn't understand the call command because we will discuss it later as it is a part of advanced sql now let's move towards our next category which is dcl or data control language so guys there are only two commands in dcl which are grant and revoke so guys this commands are not for the normal application users for example online banking system so here the security of the data is very important because in online banking system all of your crucial data is present and we cannot compromise with the security of your data and obviously someone in the back end managing all of your data in the database so in such scenarios authorization plays a vital role so with the help of dcl command we can manage the rights permission and the other controls of the database system so here the first command is grant and it is used to provide control or the right to access the database while we use revoke command to withdraw that rights or control of the database which was given previously by using the grant command so these are the dcl commands so now let's see what are the tcl or transaction control language so with the help of tcl commands we can manage the transaction within the database and the transaction means a sequence of multiple operations performed on a database and all the operations are served as a single logical unit of work so tcl commands helps to maintain the integrity and the consistency of the data in the database and we can use this tcl commands only with the dml commands as we know dml commands are not auto committed that means the changes done by the dml commands can be roll back so suppose you have done some changes or you have inserted multiple data in a database using dml commands then these changes can be roll back before the current session get closed so that's why to control the change and the processing of the data we use tcl commands so now let's see some tcl commands so the first command is commit so this command ensures that the changes are made permanent in the database so basically commit command saves the work done permanently in the database and the next command is roll back so this command is used to restore the database to its original state since the last commit was done and the last command is save point so this command is used to save the transaction temporarily at certain points and if you will roll back the transaction then it will get roll back only up to the last save point so guys all these are the tcl command and don't worry if you are confused or didn't understand this tcl command clearly because in this video series we will work on this tcl commands then at that time you will get a better idea about this commands okay so now let's discuss our last command which is dql or data query language and we use this dql command to retrieve the data from the database and this is the most important command because in the return round of different company and in interview you will face this command so it's very important so this command only get the data out of the database so that we can perform required operation on that data and in the dql we have only one command which is select command so by using select command you can retrieve the data from the database so guys all these are the five category of the sql command So guys I hope you understand all these commands. And now it's time to check out the interview question based on SQL commands. So the first question is what are the DDL and DML commands? And the next question is give some example of SQL commands. And then how many SQL commands are there? Tell me some name. And the next question is select or create or drop or commit are what type of SQL commands? And the next question is what do you mean by data manipulation language and the last question is explain the different type of sql commands 
So guys, if you have watched the complete video, then you will definitely be able to answer all these questions. And please prepare all these questions very well because these are very important questions for your interview. And guys, that's all about this video. And if you found this video helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.